day to Belfast, guys. Um, walk with me through streets of Belfast until we reach a very interesting point. So it was a very windy day, so I decided to record the narration and remove the sound from the video. So I'm heading towards Albert Clock um, and the key site, and I came from that way. So here, yeah, guys, some random things. Thank you, thanks. I love water. I keep seeing that in every of my videos. I think uh, fountains really add to the city. And here it is. I didn't know they had done this in Belfast because this is a street I didn't come often to. But I'm cutting across to go to see a monument. And um, I came across this. So, uh, and there's the other side of the underground crossing. There's a clock again. I'm gonna go find out what it is because I'm not so sure. Hey, what do you know? It is a thing called Albert Clock and this whole area is called Cathedral Quarter. Okay, it's known as a Linen Tower and it's 35 meters long. You got a bit of history. If you want to pause it and read it, that's fine. So yeah, a few things, you know, and that's what travel is really about. I'm really close to uh, Titanic Quarter as well, but I'm on the other side, and um, I can see my memorial <laughs> already from here. And um, this is what travel is all about, you know, you're going to see the main things, but you really have to see everything in between as well. And um, back to you when I'm getting close, when I'm at the memorial. <laughs> Thanks. A monument, should I say. So, I've been to Belfast a couple of months ago, but um, before that I haven't visited in three years. And um, I have really seen a change in Belfast. So this area I have not explored in great detail before, and I've never visited this statue. So the statue is called the Big Fish, our Salmon of Knowledge. It was um, constructed in 1999 and, um, by local artists. And um, there's a lot of um, piles here that um, sort of have um, pictures of the past on them. So it's pretty cool. And um, it's right here on the quay side. And the river is called um, Lagan in Belfast. So for anybody who don't know, so Belfast is a capital of Northern Ireland. And Northern Ireland has six counties compared to 32 in the Republic of Ireland. Uh, we don't call it South of Ireland because Republic of Ireland also has North, uh, like Donegal and um, other counties in the North of Ireland, uh, and also the Republic. So uh, legally this is Northern Ireland and it belongs to United Kingdom. Um, so, you know, that might change sometime, but as it is, um, the Belfast population is really increased in the last um, 10 years, it's about 600,000 now, uh, maybe well, over half a million anyway, and uh, it's huge, it's really booming, and you can see how busy it is on the streets. 
Look, if you are here, uh, get a coffee or something, or a pastry from this van. Um, lovely man, and uh, I have a super runny nose, and he just gave me a bag of tissues here. And I offered to pay him for it, but he wouldn't take the money. Uh, people are just really so sweet and kind here, and uh, I dare you know this will not be happening in Dublin. <laughs> I know I lived there for ten years. I never get anything for free. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks for watching, guys. This is Belfast in November. So I'm inside a Victoria shopping centre in the heart of Belfast. Relatively new built shopping centre with this sort of very famous dome and it's especially very pretty at Christmas because they do all these decorations and every shop goes to a lot of effort and um, sort of sits in between all sorts of old buildings as well you can see it, and then you can see the dome from pretty much anywhere you know if you're city center Belfast uh, it's kind of half open so there isn't really you can come here and wander around even if the shops are closed and uh, there's some cinema at the top there called Audion I'm in the cinema because you know I don't travel to places to go to the cinema but uh, for locals it's a popular spot and uh, the reason I'm here is because it's raining outside and I don't have an umbrella so I don't want to get wet uh, and I'm hiding I only have a couple of hours left in Belfast so I'm just gonna find a place for lunch There I'm on the second floor and the third, to third floor is the, the, the viewing so uh, the viewing platform so don't miss that and go right to the top uh, the views are pretty good I wouldn't say amazing, but they are pretty good. Uh, you'll see some mountains around Belfast as well. Um, still looking for a place to eat. I'm gonna maybe try TJ Fridays. Um, it is expensive here, I must say. So uh, check out a few local pubs around this area as well. You don't really have to eat right here if you are uh, coming here, but because uh, it is expensive and the shops are kind of expensive, so. Shop, um, Belfast has a lot of shops, like a lot of shops for every budget, so you just have to take a stroll <laughs> around. Hello, my lovely Ten Square Hotel. I've stayed here about three or four times, um, probably four, and I really love this hotel. Guys, it's right in the heart of the city in uh, Tony Gall Square. Uh, lovely, lovely boutique hotel. Uh, it's on the pricey side, but look, if you can afford it, I would definitely be staying here this time as well, but I couldn't complain. Parking was wonderful to me and uh, my son. <laughs> uh, late checkout, early check-in, it was fantastic, but uh, this hotel was definitely uh, for the times that I didn't have the baby and uh, I was just staying out late in Belfast and sleeping in and getting breakfast in the bedroom and all that. It was great. Uh, so. I'm saying goodbye to Belfast, uh, I'm running late, I have a flight to catch and uh, not sure when I'm going to be back but you know, this trip was a surprise, I didn't think I would be back here so soon so who knows, but I'm going to say goodbye Belfast for now, um, subscribe to my channel uh, if you want to keep up with me and what I do and uh, you know I'll return next week with more episodes exploring my 15 years in Ireland and next year I will explore 2004 the year I got married to an Irishman, my first husband and uh, yeah in a very non-traditional wedding <laughs> talk to you soon guys I'm really cold